Good evening, everyone. It is now July 19, um, and this one is going to be an interesting one to me. This is another Jesus short, um, and we're getting quite a few of those online now. If you want to go back and look at them, they're on. Uh, we'll we'll talk about it. They're on YouTube if you've watched before. Um, seeker sensitive versus seeking. What's the difference? Well, if you hear seeker sensitive or see the signs, run. If, you hear, if you're sitting in a church and a past, pastor says, we are a seeker-sensitive church, we are all inclusive. Okay, so is hell. Um, because seeker-sensitive church has the signs out front that say all, all are welcome, which I agree with, all are welcome. But it will say, we accept all. We accept Muslims, we accept homosexuals, we, um, we accept um, any, any and every, everything that God says is an abomination. If you, and, I, and with the signs, I said, if you see some, a sign out in front of a church that says we are seeker sensitive, people are catching on to that now, so you don't see that sign as much. Mars Hill used to have it in front of theirs when Rob Bell was there, um, and even after Rob Bell. Um, but... Um, the other thing you'll see now is a rainbow flag woven right in, right in with the church signs. You see that? Keep right on driving. You're better off going to McDonald's and having a, a, a happy breakfast with your kids than taking your, your family to a church like that. Because God will hold you accountable. That is the whole thing of um, 1 Corinthians, and I think it's chapter 11, where it says a man shall not go into a church with his head covered or a woman with her head uncovered, because the man will be held responsible. We're all responsible for our own sin, but the husband will be responsible for making sure that his wife is, is protected and his children by having a man, that he knows that that man in the pulpit is a man of God because of what he's saying, because you have to understand God's word. If you don't understand God's word, you need to seek good counsel because God will hold you responsible even if you don't know. That's, that's one of the not so fun things about being male. Um, sense, seeker sensitive seeks to be a friend of the world. That's what we just talked about. Oh yeah, everybody's welcome. Everybody's accepted. We're all inclusive. Someone seeking um, moves with the spirit. The service ends when the spirit is finished. We don't put a time on it. That That is what... When, when Jesus spoke for three days and then he had to multiply the fish and the bread so that they didn't starve to death while they were going back to their homes. Those people were seeking something. Now most of them did not know what they were seeking. But if we are in a, if we are in a seeking church, not a seeker sensitive, but a seeking church, we will, we will allow the worldly people in but with every intention to break them of the world on the way out or before they leave. Seeker-sensitive versus seeking. Seeker-sensitive churches have signs proclaiming to be all-inclusive, sexual orientation and other religions, creating a Jesus that they can live with. A seeker pursues God's truth, not the wishes of men. Um, and so I look at this. Um, I, I've said this in Bible studies to, um, to pastors. Um, you've created a Jesus you can live with, but by doing so, you've created a pastor that Jesus can't live with. So that's where we stand. Anyway, um, please look us up on either streetlightgr.com, Facebook, or at Streetlight Bible Study 4006. Be blessed and make sure to be a blessing. Thank you for tuning in.